before he strikes again! Here it comes! I got your back! Here you go. Let's go! The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, your majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. <sighs> Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son, merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself... to the brink of death. You'll get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Sheesh. I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady. Oh. Push! 
Unbelievable. Not exactly a fairy tale beginning, huh, Prince Noctis? We let ourselves get carried away. Look, these things happen. Let's just hope this isn't some omen. Gladio, do me a favor. What? Push this thing by yourself. All by myself? You won't even notice if we just let go. Prompto, don't even think about it. Save some breath for pushing. Ignis, come on, time to switch. Nuh-uh. We just switched back there! And it's my turn, Nucked. His turn. Oh, my hands are killing me. You rather I kill you with mine? Easy there, tough guy. Any luck? Only a busy signal. Hold the phone. Is it just me? Or was it supposed to be way closer? I assure you, the map is correct. The map said Hammerhead was right there. Literally, next door. Looks that way. On a map of the world. <sighs> the world's a big old place, filled with wonders. Uh, tell that to my legs. You guys even pushing? Hard as I can. With everything I've got, we'll be there in no time. Y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you. Cindy, Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now, we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it, either. Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This'll make sure y'all don't get lost. Might as well make good use of the extra time. Whoa! They got Ebony out here! Oh, Ignis is gonna flip! Wait, uh, what? I got a feeling our money's no good here, Noct. Bet you Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. Enough for room and board. A moment, Noct. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Yeah, 
Let's pay him a visit. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? A uh, bit steep for a simple tune-up, don't you think? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was gonna teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? Well, so much for finding an easy way out. Thanks a lot, Papa. But don't go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, this ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though. Don't tell Papa. Better make tracks. Ignis, we're going. On my way. Looks like we found our first targets. Ready, knocked. You've got all those arms at your disposal. Use them. Excellent work. On we go. Time. Let's get on with it. So, uh, where are we headed anyway? Nowhere until the repairs are done. Then we head for Golden Key. Then after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. Got it. Almost there. Give You're all see ya. Complete. Who could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. Oh, what did Cindy say? He needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. What's this? Okay? 
We are now. Spoke too soon. I'm going all out. Just don't get too curious. Yeah. You're one to talk. Try this on your size. Got to respect, Gladio. Huh. That's crossing the line. Sorry. Nothing to it. Hey, what about the shack over there? y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them varmints. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? Sure, we'll do it. Well, for the right price. Well, Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw him. Phew. For a second I thought you were gonna forget to ask for cash. to rest up before we set out. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. The hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? So they're the new Crowns Guard or something? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Uh, is it cool that we rock Crowns Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made him especially for us. He even got a sweet insignia on him. In the Crown's Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it with pride. And here we are. Let's call it a day. I'll see what I can whip up.
Like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. Well, like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid will stuff his wrench where the sun don't shine. Take care of the car and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car. Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was even better. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Look where you're going! Didn't mean to do that. What's your problem? How about you cut it out before... Over there! That's it, right? Huh. That's a dual horn? Yes, but not your run-of-the-mill breed. We'd best make quick work of it. Wait a sec. What? Scared, big guy? You ought to be, too. Things vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> yeah! Oh, nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> Ready for round two. Yeah. Bring it. Back to it. Right. <laughs> ring, ring. Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Ken? Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. Oh, while I got ya. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. Sounds good. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the legroom in back. Only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Ugh, pretend you're walking to the car. That's three halves. Would explain its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. Could use a bite to eat. Yeah, let's do it. Come with us, Noct. 
Sorry about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back! We should all get a picture with her. All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa, my grandkid. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Sure. Why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. Hammerhead is like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. Ah, <sighs> I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. There's no reason you can't pay them a visit any time you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that... Is anybody out there? Where's that coming from? Everybody out. Aye, aye. Do we have to walk? This creature is known as a saber tusk. It skewers prey with its tusks, ah! extracting game from the safety and comfort of followers. That's some um, heartless. Yeah, don't think we'll be befriending any. This sounds like you're having fun. Thank goodness you're here. My car is stuck. What a relief. Thank you. That couldn't have gone any better. Let's go. the jacket time to go all right
Well, I'd say that's far enough for today. Might be wise to leave the driving to me until we found our bearings out here. You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll dig it out of the trunk so you all just sit tight. Umbra, bringing us stuff. Had a boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? Just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So, hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. Everything in order. Yep. Mm hmm. For our next story, Lady Luna Freya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace nor the pride I take in my betrothal, playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you. Oh. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. Hey! I see the sea! I see it too. That's Golden Key. Kinda wanna go for a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. And say with the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. Ignis, pull over a sec. Certainly. Well, here we are. Mm. 
Ready to set sail. Just gotta find my sea legs first. A feature on the wedding. And get a load of Lady Lunafreya's dress. That's some fancy fabric work. Bet the groom can't wait to see it on his bride-to-be. Uh, he's not the only one. Whew. She's gonna be an absolute knockout. The dress is bespoke, of course, and comes courtesy of one of Altitia's foremost fashion designers. <laughs> Bet the food's gonna be pretty damn fancy, too. Eh, as long as it's something I can eat. As opposed to dissect. Ugh, royally embarrassing. Can't wait to taste some Altitian seafood. Golden's... Welcome to Golden Key. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> what's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Uh huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Oh, shit, right. Oh. Oh. You believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, but I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. My sources, the Empire, given strict orders not to let any vessels leave the docks of Altitia. Real shame if you were late to your own wedding, right, Prince Noctis? Name's Dino, by the way. Pleasure. The Crown Prince of Lucis bounty hunting in his fancy car. Surely you didn't think it'd go unnoticed. At least not by this reporter. Lucky for you, this reporter has integrity. If you want to remain incognito, I'll respect your wish. In exchange for a favor. I don't owe you anything. Wait, we mustn't rub him the wrong way. The sound of tacit agreement. Here. Marked where you need to go on your map. All you gotta do is find me some rough gemstones, like this one. Do this, and your ship will come in. Don't, and the papers will run you out of town. Capish? really got your number, Nox. Huh. Not like we made much effort to keep it secret. Even if we had, the press always finds a way. We needn't befriend him, but we'd best not make him our enemy. Buddy. What's up? Taking a little stroll? How come you're all alone? You must be hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Hold on a sec. I'll find you something. Um, gotta come up with some cat food. Could always buy some. Or we could fish for some. Excellent idea. Let's go. All right, this one's perfect.
Here you go. Caught fresh. <sighs> what? You don't like fish? No. Oh, you only like cooked fish. All right. Welcome to Golden Key. the mother of pearl what do you feel like having today here is the local lineup we have a sumptuous selection Excellent choice. Look out, stomach. Make sure to come back hungry. Hey, do you serve anything a cat might like? That the best pickup line you've got? What? No, I... Uh, there's this cat over there. I'm only teasing. I have a feeling I know the feline you've got in mind. Let me whip something up. Paying customers come first, though, and someone just ordered the last fish on hand. Would you mind catching another one of these while I make their meal? You know, this is really thoughtful of you, but be warned. Cats are clingy, and they're notoriously picky eaters, too. Picky eaters? You don't say. When it comes to food, felines are quite finicky. So you are wise to entrust the cooking to me, here. You're one spoiled cat. Aww. I think he likes you. I guess. Clawed his way into a heart. Might keep on clinging. Forever. Easy now. Hut. We're out of here. Let's roll. Off we go. So, uh, you thinking to fairy tale Lady Lunafreya back to the Crown City? Nah, I need to rush to happily ever after. Wow. Still can't believe you're actually tying the knot, dude. How does it feel now that it's finally happening? Fine, I guess. Ah, come on, you can't fool me. Any guy would be over the moon to marry her. No big deal. Yeah, whatever.
You sure we're in the right spot? According to the map. Let's scope it out. again. Hmm. O-M-G. We're supposed to get near that thing? Pipe down before you wake it up. thought we were at journey's end but that feat was fit for a king indeed let's go Okay? Wanna take a break? I'm fine. Come on. Break time! Break time! Might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? Hmm. Nice riding with you. Key. 
these bites? How am I supposed to make my deliveries? Well, we'll be fine as long as we're at a haven. The Oracle will protect us. Now that's a meal. The guy's good. Like, people come to the hotel just for a massage good. Well, I guess I'll just have to see for myself. If you can get a reservation. Nice work, kid. Sorry for giving you such a hard time. I just had to get my hands on this, even if it meant blackmail. You understand, don't you? You see, I'm a reporter by day and an amateur jeweler by night. This elusive little beauty's gonna become a masterpiece. To make it up to you, I'll share a little scoop. That special coin you got? It commemorates the Oracle's ascension. That guy was tossing them out to everyone. Must have picked them up back in Niflheim. And speaking of freebies, here's one from me. Come back if you want to buy more. I doubt a souvenir like that could make its way into the hands of an ordinary citizen. Oh well, it's our pocket change now. Let's learn from history and book a place this time.